Hi, I'm Rachel Barton Pine. Welcome to Family Fridays with RBP. Today, I'm going to play three different pieces, each based on a different kind of fiddling tradition from around the world. But each of these is a classical piece drawing upon that fiddling tradition as an influence. I'm going to start with a piece by my dear friend Yale Strom. Uh, I'm playing it in honor of Hanukkah, but of course, it's a great piece to play any week of the year. If you want to check out some of Yale's own playing, I highly recommend starting with his recent Hanukkah album, which has become one of my favorites. It's called Shimmering Lights, and it features different kinds of Eastern European music, um, Hebrew music, um, and just some great guest artists, lots of improv, really fun stuff. Yale is not only a great fiddler, but also a wonderful scholar of music by different Eastern European traditions, and he's a real Renaissance man. He's written radio plays and filmed documentaries and um, you name it. So really a cool guy to learn more about. This particular piece is called Weinschel, which is um, a kind of sour wine um, that would be served to the klezmer players at an event. And this particular piece is not klezmer dance music. It's actually a display piece that would be played for the guests of honor at a special occasion. And the violin um, imitates the sounds of crying and laughing and there's there's melodic parts and virtuoso parts, and it's, it's just really a whole lot of fun. I've played this lots of times um, in, as encores after concertos in Israel and elsewhere, but also for some concerts that I've had the great honor of giving as a guest artist with Yale's own klezmer band, where I've gotten to sit in and try my best to keep up, and then of course played some classical music based on klezmer traditions. So here is Weinschel from the Bessarabia Suite, which Yale composed for me in 2010.
Bombshell by, um, by Gail Strom from his Bessarabia Suite. Well, there you have some klezmer fiddling blended with classical. That, of course, is um, a, a source of inspiration for a, a, a number of classical pieces over the years from various great composers. A long-standing kind of fiddling that has not yet been used um, nearly enough in classical music thus far is um, the various kinds of Arabic fiddling. And so I was very excited in 2011 when um, the great composer Mohammed Fayrouz wrote a five movement suite for me. He then went on to write a wonderful violin concerto as well. And I played a couple of other movements from his native informant suite on this show in previous episodes. Today I'm going to do movement two, which is entitled Rounds, which imitates um, the sound and style of um, Arabic dancing, a particular kind of dancing called round dancing. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Movement 2 from the Native Informant Suite by Mohammed Fayrouz, a wonderful example of what can happen when Arabic fiddling meets classical music. Well, to finish off, I'm going to do something close to home. 
Um, I last week did Caprice number seven, his latest entry into the genre, and now I'm going to do number one, Mark O'Connor's very first Caprice, when he was combining Paganini-style virtuosity with traditional American fiddling to create something that had never been heard of the world before. And it was actually at Mark O'Connor's fiddle camps, where both Yale and I were on the faculty in the mid-90s, that we got to know each other. Um, so coming full circle, here is Mark O'Connor's Caprice number one. O'Connor. Some very exciting music to get your energy up through these dark days of December. Well, next week I'm going to be focusing on probably the kind of fiddling that has been um, incorporated the most frequently into classical playing. I'm talking about the music of the Roma people, so-called gypsy fiddling. And no, I won't be playing Zagoyner Weizen or Shardish because those just wouldn't quite sound right unaccompanied. But I will be doing um, the gypsy portion as well as a little bit of the rest of um, the Red Violin Caprices by John Curliano. I'll be playing the big unaccompanied opening cadenza of Ravel's Zagan. And then my very favorite gypsy flavored classical piece, Airs Zagans by a composer you've probably never heard of, Cesar Espejo. It's gonna be a lot of fun. See you next week.